Correctly maintaining your Caterpillar hammer is required in order to minimize downtime and maximize productivity. Following the correct maintenance intervals will provide a lower owning and operating cost for your hammer. This section will cover walk-around inspection, tool greasing, bushing and tool inspection, hammer storage, and annual dealer service. At the start of each shift prior to starting the machine, the hammer and machine require a thorough walk-around inspection. Be sure all hydraulic connections are tight and are secured properly. Inspect the hammer for any loose bolts, oil leaks, broken, worn, or missing parts. Inspect the housing and rock claw for cracks and wear. Fix all problems before operating the hammer. The hammer tool must be properly greased to prevent excessive wear of the tool and bushings. Proper greasing will help prevent tool breakage. Caterpillar hammer paste is recommended for greasing of the hammer tool. Always grease the hammer in the vertical position with weight on the hammer tool. Greasing the hammer without weight on the tool can result in lower piston seal failure. For manual greasing of the hammer, first locate the grease access points. The grease access points can be found on the lower side of the hammer and have been marked with appropriate decals. The grease fitting uses a check ball to retain grease. Inspect and replace any missing or defective grease fittings. For large series hammers, H115s and up, remove the protective rubber plugs covering each grease fitting. Apply 10 to 15 strokes from the grease gun to each of the two grease fittings. For hammers with a single grease fitting, apply 15 to 20 strokes from the grease gun. On all large series hammers, reinstall the rubber plugs after greasing. If an automatic lubrication system is used, the grease lines, connections, and grease fittings must be checked daily. Confirm the grease reservoir or grease cartridge is full. The hammer is sufficiently greased when a band of grease is visible around the tool just outside the bottom of the hammer following operation. As a general rule, manual greasing of the hammer is required every two hours of operation. However, you should always adapt greasing intervals based on your application. Every 50 machine hours or once per week, you should remove the hammer tool. Inspect the hammer tool and bushings for wear. Proper guidance of the hammer tool by the tool bushings is critical to extending the life of the hammer's internal components. Therefore, inspection of both the tool and lower bushing are a very important part of scheduled preventative maintenance for your Caterpillar hammer. To remove the tool on hammers H115 and up, position the hammer on blocks in a horizontal position. Refer to your hammer's operation and maintenance manual for tool retainer pin and hammer tool removal. Inspect the tool retaining pins for any cracks or excessive wear. When removing the tool, the tool weight may require the use of an appropriate lifting device. Refer to the operation and maintenance manual for the wear limits on your specific hammer. Inspect the hammer tool for excessive wear in the bushing bearing areas and in the retaining pin slots. Any burrs or raised material found in the tool retaining pin slot area can be removed with a hand grinder. After the tool has been removed and inspected, check the lower bushing for wear. The lower bushings on Caterpillar hammers are a slip fit design and can be serviced in the field. Refer to the operation and maintenance manual for your hammer bushing type. Most hammer models have grease grooves inside the lower bushing that serve as wear indicators. If the first groove above the bushing dust seal is worn away, but part or all of the second groove is visible, the bushing on models H115 and above can be rotated and reused. If the second groove is worn completely away, the bushing must be replaced. For models without grease grooves, measure the inside diameter of the bushing in its most heavily worn area. Refer to the service information for reuse or replace criteria for the lower bushing. On hammer models H35DS through H65DS, the tool bushing is a one-piece assembly. When storing the hydraulic hammer, always take the necessary precautions to prevent contamination and corrosion. At the end of each shift, the hammer should be stored in a vertical position with the downforce on the tool. Whether the hammer is installed on or off the machine, it is critical the hydraulic ports are never left open and exposed to the environment. 
Contamination can damage the hammer as well as the machine upon startup. Whenever removing the hammer from the machine, be sure to relieve any hydraulic pressure. Refer to your machine's operation and maintenance manual for instruction on how to relieve the hydraulic pressure in the auxiliary circuit. If the hammer is not to be used for a long period of time, the following steps must be taken. All hydraulic ports must be plugged. Remove the tool and lightly apply grease to the tool and bushings. Apply rust inhibiting oil to the exposed surfaces of the piston. The hammer must then be secured in a vertical position using a suitable hammer storage stand. Every 100 machine hours or every two weeks, remove the side shields to inspect top and side buffers for cracks. Every 1,000 machine hours or once per year, the hydraulic hammer must be reconditioned as part of preventative maintenance. It is recommended the service be conducted by your authorized Caterpillar dealer. All seals, membranes, and grease fittings will be replaced, along with any additional wear components based on inspection. To review, the following preventative maintenance is required for your Caterpillar hammer. General walk around, daily before operation. Grease hammer tool, every two machine hours or four times per eight hour shift. Bushing and tool inspection, every 50 machine hours or weekly. Top and side buffer inspection, every 100 machine hours or every two weeks. Annual dealer service, every 1,000 machine hours or annually. This preventative maintenance will ensure hours of trouble-free operation and help prevent catastrophic failure.